So what we have here is we have a water tank with a parabolic roof and what we need to do is we need to paint it. And one liter of paint covers three square meters of surface area and this roof is modeled by this equation. It is a parabola so we need to find the surface area of that to be able to find how much paint we will need to be um, to paint it. So that's what we're going over in this video. If you want a video explaining the Pops and Goudinas equations, you can click on this video link and that explains more of that. And I've also got down in the description um, some more written out about those equations. You can check that out. So if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So what we need to do to find the surface area is we need to multiply theta, which is the angle of rotation that we're rotating this line about to get the surface area, multiplied by r bar, which is the, um, the centroid, the distance between the axis of rotation and the centroid um, of this line, and multiply that by the length of the line. So in order to do that, we need to use some other equations. Now I have written out here, we have the arc length, which will be L of um, this part of the curve. We have that equation and we have the centroid of the line. And if you want a video explaining a little bit more about that equation, you can click on this video link. But we have here that X bar equals all of this and um, that is how we're going to find r bar because x bar is the x coordinate of the centroid of this line well that the x coordinate is going to be the distance away from the y axis which is our axis of rotation so in this case x bar equals r bar and then we have dl is part of this equation so doing that we first need to find dy dx which is just the derivative of this equation right here so taking the derivative of that we have that dy dx equals this part's just a constant and so the derivative of this part will just be 1 over 48x and then plugging it into our equation for dl we have that dl equals the square root of one plus um, this squared, so that negative is gonna drop out, so that'll be one over 48 squared multiplied by x squared dx. And before we go any further, before we have to calculate too much, we can see here that dl and our arc length equation are very similar, in fact, if you take the integral of this, like we have on the bottom of our x bar equation in the denominator, it is exactly the same thing as long as they're integrated over the same length. And they are in this case. So, um, so our x bar multiplied by our L is just going to equal the numerator of this uh, fraction. So that's just going to be the integral from zero to 12, because our 12, because our roof has a radius of 12 meters. So we're gonna integrate that from zero to 12. X tilde is just X, because it is the, is the centroid of each um, differential piece DL. Um, and so it's just gonna be X, because we're integrating with respect to X, if you want um, a little bit more explanation on that, you can go to that video that I referenced earlier. And then, so you multiply this by dl, which we have here. So that is one plus one over 48 squared multiplied by x squared dx. Now, if I was to do this by hand, I would use u substitution to um, substitute for x squared and that would get rid of our x out here, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, if you plug this into your calculator or something, 
or do it by hand, you should end up getting that this x bar times by L, which is the same as R bar times by L, is 73.114. And then, so our surface area equation is going to be theta, which is 2 pi, because we are rotating it a full 360 degrees, and that's 2 pi radians, multiplied by 73.114, and that equals 459.4, and that's square meters. That is our surface area of our roof. Now, to find out how much paint we need, we'll just divide that by three, and you end up getting that that is 153.1 liters of paint. So we need 153.1 liters of paint to be able to paint this entire roof. So there's a pretty good example problem um, of finding the surface area when the line used to generate the surface area is not straight. It's a little bit more complicated that way because you have to find the arc length and the centroid of the line, which both involve integration. But that is how you do it. If you want an example video going over an example problem with the surface area with just straight lines, you can click on this video link. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. I appreciate the feedback. Um, I've also got my website up and going, ghostengineering.com. It's got all of these videos on it, plus a little bit more stuff. I'm sure you'll find it helpful. And checking that out helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer with Student Engineering. And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.